thousand. Eight six all the hate. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball the days. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it on record off record. I let them take advantage. I was wallet on record off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote on record off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young influence. Adolescent presence also coming to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete rejection with the music loosening. I'm barely moving, but I'm still gonna pull somebody and work on winning. When I know you're losing, so this is hope is gonna be a very quick, fast recipe far as prep and cooking. But we are using the pressure cooker, which as you guys know, I'm absolutely in love with this uh, machine. So first thing we're gonna do as this is coming to heat up. We're gonna add in a little bit of oil, about four tablespoons or so, and get this hot. We already have some onions, bell peppers, and garlic diced up, along with uh, about two and a half pounds of potatoes. So that translates to maybe four, five potatoes at, at most. Now, what I've done with the potatoes to make my life easier is if you have a one of those uh, French fry uh, cutters, you can cut it like that. Just made my life easier. If not, you can go ahead and just dice it up by hand. But for me, these took me all of two minutes to press them through the uh, the uh, French fry uh, cutter. So we're going to sit here, get this hot. Uh, we're going to saute off the onions, bell pepper, and the celery. We're going to add in a little bit of, I'm actually tweaking the recipe a little bit. I want to see what it do. So I'm going to add in a little bit of cumin into mine. But typically, you have oregano, thyme, a uh, little bit of paprika, chili powder uh cayenne if you so choose but use it sparingly. I'm, I'm only using a quarter of a teaspoon today uh because the folks that be eating this is not a big fan of uh, hot food so we're going to saute that off toss in our potatoes our chicken broth and let that cook for about 12 minutes on high pressure once that high pressure is done we're going to let it natural release for about five minutes and then we're going to hit the quick release and let it go on from there but other than that, real simple recipe. Let's see how hot this is. Still not quite hot enough. We're gonna just let that come up just a little bit more. Yeah, it's getting hot. And while I'm at it, I do wanna add a little bit more oil in here. As always, this show is brought to you by the Self-Employed uh, Tax Company and Seth Lodge Planning. The Self-Employed Tax Company has built a tax company for you and I from the ground up. You can actually do your taxes via Skype, uh, uh, Dropbox, or you can visit him face-to-face -face in his office. And for Seth Lodge Planning, for all your group travel needs, your, your wedding parties, your class reunions, your family reunions, Masonic fraternal events, please hit up Seth Lodge Planning, and we would do our best to make your group travel a success. Um, also, in June, I believe it's June 20th, a uh, good friend of mine, good friend and brother is having the first daddy-daughter dance in Carson, June 20th. The tickets are $60. Um, I think it's a very worthwhile event. I'm hoping that you can support it. All right, let's get back to today's program. So the oil has gotten hot enough, and all we're going to do now, if you don't, I'm going to say this. Um, I like the pressure cooker. I like this particular model. I will post the link in um, the comments. But if you do not have a pressure cooker, this meal is still just as simple. You follow all the same steps with the exception of instead of pressure cooking, you would boil the the uh, potatoes once, once you get to the step where it says pressure. You would just simply boil them and go from there. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, I know some of us, we see some of these uh, uh, as seen on TV gadgets and wonder, am I really going to use these things? My mother was a big, huge shopaholic. And even after she died, we had, uh, back then it was the home shopping network. Even after she died, we had <laughs> packages coming in a couple of weeks after she passed from the home shopping network. Uh, and she was one of them that bought a bunch of stuff that she didn't use. However, anything that I promote or if I tell you about, trust me, I believe it's something you will use. I've had this pressure cooker now. As you see, the inside of it is beat all up. I've had this thing probably three years. Um, I can't imagine a month that I don't use this. Uh, you also hear me quite often mention my griddle. 
which is outside. Um, again, there's not a month go by. I don't use that. So if you hear me mention it, even if it seems like it might be one of them single purpose uh, items that you don't want to spend the money on, trust me, I have came home, threw stuff in this pressure cooker, and we have been eating in an hour tops. For those of you that like beans, you know typically you have to go through the whole uh, soak your beans overnight and then cook them. I did some red beans in this thing last week. Hour, 20 minutes, I'm done. So other than you're chopping up, I'm done with that. Uh, again, back to what's doing today. So the, the, the baked potato soup. We're sauteing off onions, celery, and some garlic. Once that is done, we're going to take this chicken broth, the seasoning uh, mixture, a spice mixture, and the potatoes. We're going to lock it down for 12 minutes. Again, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you would boil it until your potatoes are soft, uh, and then you continue the recipe from there. You know what I really feel? The winners and the trade producers, guess I have to pivot, shooting their bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper, cash, the tax, that's a joke, tell them laugh, Uncle Sam. Got the bag, Brody Platt, we'll get a whack, contract, give me the max, I got lab on my back, you ain't that, then it's raps. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that one? You ever watch Alton Brown and see when that guy, he has a hand that passed through off the screen? I'm just like Alton Brown, I got one of them too. No, I was telling you that uh, it'll punch, puncture the, the, the side you was using. Y'all think I'm joking. My food just tastes better when I'm drinking. Because I cook it better. I'm more relaxed. All right. We're only cooking these down because, like I say, too, these onions start getting a little clear, translucent. I don't know what the proper word is. Another thing about these pressure cookers. Now, the seasoning in here, it may seem real light, like a teaspoon of salt. One a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt goes a long way but the one thing i will uh like to recommend when using pressure cookers be careful with the seasoning because the way pressure cookers are designed you do not lose moisture but it's going to amplify ampli amplify any flavor you put in this pot so because of that it is recommended especially for things that you can adjust afterwards then add it later on All right. That's about done there. We now going to add in just some of this seasoning. Give that a good stir. Add in these potatoes. Give those a good stir around. Add in our broth. Yeah, it should be enough for that. Add in the broth. I'm gonna lock this down. And we're going to let this cook for 12 minutes, and I will see you back once this is done. As always, and I'll say this again, and I'll say this to the end. Remember, there's only three rules when it comes to cooking. You must have passion, you must have patience, and you must have practice. We're going to pause for a moment, and I will see you back in 12 minutes to show you the final results of the baked potato soup. Got the bag, Brody Platt, we'll get a whack, contract, give me the max, I got lab on my back, you ain't that, then it's raps. Whoa, 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 for the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the, for the record.
now been about 12 minutes. The pressure cooker is, is finally stopped. We did a five minute release or a natural release, and then we did a quick release. So as you see now, potatoes are broken down. We've actually uh, getting ready to blend it up just a little bit so to have a little bit of more creamy texture to it. You can leave yours chunky if you like it, but I like mine a little bit smoother. So we're going to go ahead and blend that down some. To that, we're going to add in a little bit of cream cheese and some cheddar cheese. All right, let's give that a quick little taste. That can use just a little bit more salt. We're going to add in about another teaspoon of salt. And to that, we're also going to add in some cream. All right, there we go. All right, let's plate this up real quick. Push this out of our way. All right. And there you have it, folks. A very quick and simple, we took about two and a half pounds of potatoes, roughly five russet potatoes. We took some uh, cayenne, a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of cumin for this particular one. Normally, you don't use cumin. Some oregano, some thyme, some basil, a little bit of chili powder, paprika, Salt and pepper. We sauteed off some garlic, some garlic, onions, and celery. Added to that our seasonings, and to that our potatoes. Some chicken broth. Pressure cooked it for 12 minutes. Did a five-minute natural release, and then a quick release from there on. Blended it up, adding a little bit of cream, a little bit of cheese, and there you have it. A very quick and simple baked potato soup. Until next time, remember there's only three rules when it comes to cooking. You must have passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. Until next time right here on Create Simple Meals, I will see you again where next time we will probably be doing jambalaya. See you soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa.